Welcome to week five of the Pokeballs podcast with your host Lee and our other host Scott. How are you doing, mate? You doing good this week? I'm hungry. Sitting there munching, up. munching on the remnants of an Easter egg. What Easter egg was it, mate? It was a um, one of the small mini egg ones. Oh, nice! Wasn't that the one that you had like last time we were? Mm-hmm. I bought three of them myself. Oh, nice! <laughs> They've lasted a while, mate. You've done yeah, well. I'm pretty um, I'm pretty anal when it comes to not eating everything at once. So I've still got a drawer full of sweets, or sweets that I bought like at Christmas. I just don't eat it all at once. I know, I know you're the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Completely, yeah. I know you can knock back some sweets when you were getting I'm an all or nothing guy. <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> Literally, like, yeah, I will. That will just, if that's why it's better if I don't buy stuff, because then if it's in, I'll just eat it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it'll a lot be, of people like that, to be fair. Yeah. So if it's not there, it's fine. Funny, yeah. And I've got like alternatives. So it's all right. Um, yeah. Anyway, I hope everyone watching viewing listening is doing good having a great week there's been a lot happening in the pokemon world this past week obviously the last episode we got to record in person we're back in our separate abodes right now and um back to to normal flow of things so we'll be getting through a bunch of what's been happening in I was the so world this week to record this episode man like after last week's episode like obviously being in person and seeing you as well, I was like, I just want to record the next one. I mean, we were saying that to each other, didn't we? When we got back, we were just like, yeah. I want to record the next episode. Record now. Let's do it. Yeah, let's pump more out. I know it was so much. It was a lot of fun, mate. I had a, I had a blast uh, at the event, and it was it was super nice doing it in person. So hopefully, it isn't too long before we can do another one. Maybe we have a PC coming up. Maybe we could do a special one for that. That would oh, be yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, we could do that. Might be good. We'll do, that. So, we'll do it here. Stay tuned for that. Ooh, depending on people that are attending, we could have maybe special guests that week. Yes. Well, maybe. it depends on between rounds. It would be quite difficult. No, I mean, afterwards. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, so, lots to look forward to anyway. Um, getting on to news for this week. The first thing to kick us off with, last night we had the announcement of the next Seven Star Terror Raid event that will be happening in Scarlet and Violet. And uh, in Teleon, the... 8th gen starter Pokemon will be joining the ranks. I think a lot of it's it's a weird one because I think a lot of people aren't like that excited about Inteleon, but a lot of people like Sobble. So there's like a kind of a win win situation with it for most people. But I don't know. How do you feel about it, mate? I'm excited for it. I mean, it's it's cool Pokemon. I mean, I forgot what's what Pokemon it was to be honest with you um, I was trying to work out I knew it was the start of Pokemon I was trying to work out what one it was it's like um, the spy the spy yeah. lizard isn't it yeah but um, Bond impersonation the shiny form of Inteleon is actually very very nice so. yeah it's got very um, very nice shiny I'm looking but, forward to shiny hunt and sobble mate yeah and I'll do it 100% very excited so that'd be good but no um, it's, it's a really weird one because you know obviously we've had a lot of comments on your video saying well, the last couple of videos and people were moaning about on Twitter. I know Joe Merrick has been complaining about it as well. People are really peeved that home is still not here. Mm. And given the fact that we've just been given another seven star terror raid, I don't think it's coming anytime soon, to be honest with you. No, I, feel like- I, got, a, I got a bit of a theory about this. I was thinking about this earlier, mate. I'll oh, let you forget what you were saying. And no, I was just going to say that, that was pretty much it. Yeah. So no. I was. I, I was thinking about this earlier and I was like, huh, so was home when they announced that Pokemon home compatibility was coming, they initially announced it, um, for early 2023, right? No, it was like, I can't remember what they, they changed it. It was, did they announce it in that, in that direct or was it? Yeah, that's when, that's when they updated it to early 2023. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they had a, a set time that was earlier before that so in my mind early 2023 things are running a little bit behind at game freak whatever and they had to just kind of ballpark uh, a date and say well we'll definitely get it out for this date now i honestly like my heart of heart honestly thinks 
that that update that we got in one point the one point two update that caused the save data glitches, all the pushed other back. issues. I honestly think that was what's pushed home back. I think that was probably meant to be the update before we got home, which I think home was. I Meant think they intentionally meant it to be when we got the the last week, the 1.3 update. I think that was meant to be the home update there. But I think all the issues that were caused from 1.2 update caught, just put them even further behind. So on a timeline, I was thinking about this. I was like, okay, so the the 1.2 came out in early March. About a month and a half later, we got the 1.3 update, which we got last week. Uh, so a month and a half out. So I'm, I am saying second week in June is when I think we'll get it, which is crazy because that is so far away, but that's when I think we'll get it. I think you're right, really. And I think that kind of goes back to the whole them being really vague with the DLC as well. I think because maybe they had a feeling that or they knew the game wasn't entirely polished and they were like, we're going to give ourselves a bit of leeway here in case there are they do have problems. Mm. Um, and I think the um, it makes a lot the, of sense to be honest. What you just said, the glitches, well, the the issues, the issues with Pokemon Go, I think caught them completely by surprise. Go I think those things, yeah, you know the the compatibility because in oh, the yeah, one point three yeah, update yeah, yeah. they said the issues, the crashes caused by the um, connection between Pokemon Go and and Scarlet and Violet had been resolved. And I think that was probably one of the issues. I don't think they've not come out and stated anything specific against the save data glitches. So who knows? But it kind still of indicates of that are still afraid to play the game. I know. Like That's the what the sad thing about it's it is, so isn't bad. it? That's yeah. why they need to communicate. That's why they need to communicate. They need to come out and say, this, this was a problem. Happening. We're really sorry about it. No one would care it's if true. they just said, this was the problem. Sorry about it. It's been resolved. Or oh, is it, is this that, is the problem. We're sorry about it. We are working on it. Don't worry if you're affected by it. Contact us and we'll fix it. That's all they need to do. It's like a simple statement. And I think it would put everyone's minds at rest. It's because of this, like, this no transparency about it. And it's like, I know it's only affecting a tiny, minute amount of players, but still, you know because it's only affecting a small minute of players. They're like, oh, well, we don't want to bring any more attention to it. But at the same time, it's like, these are your customers. Like, just be transparent about it. The bad press, you get bad press about all sorts all the time. Like, being transparent and communicating, in my mind, would be like a, a really good step forward. But, you know, who am I to <laughs> tell Game Freak what to do, mate? It's... The Pokemon Company are weird like that. They're almost in denial when stuff happens. They just they try their best to not comment on stuff. And I get it to a certain extent, but you know, yeah. you feel like if they had a bit of transparency, you know, say for example, your theory is correct, which you know, it sounds like a sound theory. Um, you know, why not just be like, this is what's happened. We wasn't expecting the, this problem. This is why home hasn't come out. Because then at least yeah. people will be like. Because at the moment we're in the dark, right? So it's just leaving people spectating, mm. like what speculating, sorry, what's going to happen. Um, and I think that's that's what causes a lot of the frustration because no one actually knows what happens. And I, I get it; game development is difficult. I mean, we've seen it with loads of games coming out. You know, not sub loads of games have had problems. Like Cyberpunk had loads of problems and stuff like that. You know, these game developers they don't get enough time, as we've discussed, particularly um, to develop the games. And so sometimes you get well, it seems to be more of a regular occurrence now, like an unpolished game. And I'm really interested to see if Tears of the Kingdom has any problems. I mean, if they fuck Tears of the King's Kingdom up, excuse my French, um, I think they're going to be in big trouble. Because, I don't think they will, though. Uh, no, but I don't think they will because nah. I feel like they're more probably more protective of that than they are the Pokemon IP because, as we've discussed, they've they've got everyone in the And it's been delayed so, mu so much as well, man. It's like over a year late yeah. from when it was yeah. originally meant to come out so you would but hope yeah. that it doesn't i mean the original i mean uh, breath of the wild still had like glitches in it it's like fun glitches that you can do in it you know uh to get like um, more, game more hearts and no not game breaking um 
like I, said, yeah, the I know I totally get your sentiment I think like yeah there, there has to be some like I'm probably not as thoughtful for the game development side as I should be because it's not really the game developers fault if that team of game developers are there and they're under resourced it's the the umbrella over the top that are kind of not providing the support for those employees that's the problem and for such a and this is where my problem comes in I think for such like the biggest multimedia franchise in the entire world to have problems where departments are complaining because they're behind because they haven't got the staff I think that that's a problem that shouldn't be a problem for such a big organization um but again it comes back to the not communicating because I think in a way they're probably scared of the bad press that could kind of follow with it so sometimes you know they're saying, is saying you're nothing gonna... is saying you know it's better than saying anything you know sometimes but I don't always agree with that but you're never gonna please everyone that's a problem and I feel no, like that's the thing you know you could have the best news ever and there'll always be someone that'll be like that's the, the, the worst thing uh I'm doing a really bad impression but you get you get the gist um it's I'll just, never do that again. <laughs> I'll no, never I think, do that again. I think if they come out and was like, "Look," they said, "We're we're not the next main series Pokemon game. We're going to delay it by another year because we want to make sure it's really good." Or they come out and made a statement about like the cycle of games, right? Being like, "This is how we want to run it because we want to make sure that the games, the games, like the games run well. Like we we know you enjoy the games and whatever." You know, I think that make a big difference. I mean, for example. I've played a lot of Apex Legends as I've spoke to you about recently. Um, you know, it's a PC like Battle Royale game, but the last season update, so normally, because it's all like character-based, they will release a character every season. But the last mm. season update, they were like, we're not going to release any characters because we want to focus on fixing a lot of the game problems. And they have kind of done that. And I, I kind of respect that a lot more. And I feel like in the same sort of vein, if Pokemon would come out or come out and just be like, look, we want, we want to make sure that they run well, or we you know we're just going to give developers a bit of extra time. Then, you know, I think a lot of people would be happy. The problem is, they know people are going to buy the game regardless. I mean, as we said many times, Scarlet and Violet has smashed records mm. globally. I mean, the fact that we're getting insane numbers at IRO events before, like we've never had that with a game, like in terms of like increasing numbers, we've never no. had that with any other game release before. So, like, there must be like you can't blame them for them. like well we must be doing something right mm. that's it I was reading earlier actually that in Japan the Switch uh, Nintendo's stock like profits for this like first quarter of the year are like way over what they expected way up they're doing like amazingly well with Switch sales still you know as old as a console is so um, it kind of makes me think as well like is it like just the pressures from Nintendo saying you know uh, you're one of our main IPs. We need you to get this game out uh, like now. And Game Freak saying we'd rather have like another year to develop this. And Nintendo saying no, that has to come out this year. I don't know how the contracts work. What things? I was gonna say, how, how does it work? So is I the have game? No idea. Like the Pokemon Company, do they just rent the license out to Nintendo, who then employ Game Freak to make the game, or does Pokemon make the game? They hire Game Freak and then sell the rights to Nintendo to sell it. Like, how does it work? So, Creatures Inc. is the company, isn't it? That's like Game Freak, isn't it? Which is the the developing team of Pokemon. Um, but I'm not really sure how Nintendo fits into all of that. Like, in because they obviously to... have because there are certain games, right, that are like Nintendo games, like the Mario games, they're made Mario. by Nintendo. Yeah, but the Pokemon Company is a separate entity yeah company, and they're way bigger than nintendo themselves so yeah. i don't understand yeah. like how how that works because like bro like, imagine if they moved to like sony or something man imagine if sony were like come on we're we're revamping the new we've got a new psp model <laughs> and they're like come on it won't work, it won't work <laughs> could you imagine yeah we're just gonna sell to sony now Fuck. Screw yeah. Nintendo, basically. We're not selling no. to Nintendo anymore. I don't know how it works, actually, mate. I'm not really too uh, for me. And now it makes me wanna. I'm gonna for next week's episode. I'm gonna have a little dig, and we'll be able to discuss this a bit more because it's quite interesting. Because I, I that, but as we discussed before, like obviously, mm. Pokemon loads of money. 
I actually didn't realise that for a long time. It was only like a couple of years ago I was going to an event and Ben was actually saying, it was like, yeah, like Pokemon is like one of the richest companies in the world. And I was like, mm. what? Because I just assumed Nintendo had more money, but no, it's just like nowhere near the market cap <laughs> that Pokemon has. Pokemon's so rich, man. Yeah, That's what I mean about like, how can a game like this be like, have these issues? The richest, like richest of rich you know oh, but, i don't yeah. even think it's necessarily their fault i mean we're kind of living in an age where we want to people constantly want stuff and so not even in this industry but even if you look in the tv industry and even the, the movie industry if you look mm. at like vfx artists being given like no time to do the vfx for marvel movies you know we've known that for a long time they get treated like crap basically and have no time to, to do stuff and i think that you know it definitely shifts you know, a similar thing happens in the game industry where there's a lot of yeah. pressure to constantly release stuff. And they're just, you know, whilst trying to, you know, improve your game and, you know, the quality of it, you kind of, you need that extra time. Uh, but it's sort but of... But what's it been since, like, I mean, I get that. And I totally get that, that like, you need that, like, it almost feels like there has to be a constant churn of, of new product to keep the product alive but it's not really the case because I think Zelda is a perfect example of um, an IP that doesn't necessarily like fall by that crux, you know, where they're, they are, what, like how old's a Switch? Because Breath of the Wild launched with the, the so six years, six years between titles. This is why it hasn't, it hasn't damaged the, it's probably just strengthened the IP. Yeah, but you got to think, yeah, but you, then was those games that IP is run differently to the way the Pokemon company is. Of course, right? it is. Yeah, their brand is built on. Okay, we release games often. You know, we're, on, we're nearly on, we're on Gen Nine now, right? So mm. it's like that is. But I what, think I think Pokemon have fallen into that that like horrible cycle of having to release something every year almost. When you know, back when it was red, blue, and yellow, gold, silver, crystal. Between generations, it was normally about three years before you got a new generation and it still is that but every year we're getting something different like now we're getting the dlcs in between we'll probably get black and white remakes next year and then the year after that will be the back end of it when we get probably gen 10 do you know what i mean and i feel like it doesn't need to be so fast paced and we might even get a legends game like bunged in amongst all of that as well I mean, yeah, was it like when we had like the Diamond and Pearl remake, Legends, mm -hmm. and then Scarlet and Violet? Yeah, so it was November, year. November, Diamond and Pearl. February, uh, the Legends Arceus came out. And then in November, we had Scarlet and Violet. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, if they, the, I think the problem, one of the problems is, again, you could change this. So it's not really an excuse. Pokemon games. A lot of games, particularly games, you know, like the Zelda franchise, the um, the the story requires a lot more time, right? There's a lot more thought that goes into it. Mm. Whereas the Pokemon games, Scarlet and Violet wasn't, you know, does have a longer story and there is more in it. But because they they've never been like long grindy kind of games, so if you if they did that and then wait three years and you got like twenty hours of playtime out of a game. Because realistically, that you know, once you've played through, um, there aren't really. I know we've got the DLC coming out, but again, that's kind of the same thing, I guess. Um, there's not really much else you can do after you've done it, other than like shiny hunting and obviously. But again, yeah. like, I understand that's the nature of Pokemon, but you know, they could wait longer and just make the story a lot bigger. Because that's yeah. essentially what they're doing with the DLC, right? Imagine if instead of releasing Scarlet and Violet last year, they released it this year, but with both of them DLC packs. Yeah. And, and people were like, had, wow. Yeah. And it was well optimized. People, people, I don't think people would be upset. I mean, they can do enough stuff, you know, in order to fill the gap. You know, if they really wanted to, they could experiment with other Pokemon games in between, mm. you know, which I guess they kind of have been doing with. Um, I mean, they did it with Diamond and Pearl, you know, they, they outsourced to Ilka. Um, I mean, uh, be, so they can I'm really easy to do with other in, studios as well. Like you said about, um, you know, the next generation of console that comes out, you know, are we going to be looking back on it and being like, we're so stupid? Like, they obviously did this for a reason, you know, you know, the next console comes out and it's like insane. It's got like 
all the different things that they've been testing for the last couple of years. Maybe they've been rushing it because rushing because they want to test it before the next gen console comes out. So that when Gen 10 comes out, you know, it'll be an absolute banger. Mm. I mean, I could be wrong, but you know, hindsight, you know what hindsight's like? It's um it's a bitch. So we could we So could I know easily... the stuff that they were testing, I've probably said this before. I know the stuff that they were testing in Legends Arceus was that would be all earmarked. If that went down well, that would be earmarked to implement in generation ten. That would never be intended to implement in Gen 9 because by the time, the life cycle of when like Gen 9 was due to come out, it was already no, kind of the, finished. It was definitely finished by then. Yeah. So, so we'd never see any, any, it's just that understanding. I think like you got a lot of players at the time that played Legends RC saying, I hope these People facilities really will be Legends in. Quite as well, which is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that- is yeah, it two, I mean, it's two pods better. back we talked a bit about Legends Arceus it's a great game mate the music in it is like peak for me I need to it's play so it good. I keep you seeing do. clips of people playing it it does look it, does, it looks so better than Spider Man and be you honest. can your character can kick, be fainted as well really? yeah yeah. It like yeet. Pokemon actually attack you in it that's cool like Pokemon yeet you out of there that's pretty it's good cool. yeah it's pretty good um, but getting back all the way back from that little side segment. I think you're right about the um, the Intellion Raid being announced. It kind of does give you the indication that Pokemon Home is not coming out for a while. And it feels like we're going to get a new cycle of starter Pokemon. It feels like we're going to get pretty much I don't know why most they don't of the start of Pokemon. Pokemon. Just like mix it up. But I feel like because they started the starter Pokemon, Starters, they're going like, to finish with it. We've got to keep rolling with it. But I mean, there's no it way it could be linked as Because yeah. there's what? There's 27 starter Pokemon now. So, we haven't I mean, got time to get through probably, them all. Yeah, people will be really paid off if they struggle through all of them. Home compatibility 2024. I mean, <laughs> Sorry, we, we uh, made a mistake with the three. We Oopsie. meant early 24. It was a typo. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, with, now, I mean, the history in Pokemon would be great. I've been saying that for a while, but I think, I think once Home's out, I think that's when they'll start doing it. But, We'll see. Like, yeah, I think you're right. Like, they, they kind of started with the start of Pokemon, sticking with it. But there's also the link with the DLCs, with the masks, and the new mechanic with the masks in the uh, the Teal Mask DLC, and mm-hmm. the link to um, the starters having specific masks that give them specific unique terror typings uh, or terror like terrestrialization. There's always there's always the um... all the starters would be kind of. Good Unless, to get that. you know, because you think, uh, it, is Intilion just like a reaction to, like you said, the knockback? But then there's also, they probably could have already planned to do, all the starters could be part of this Till Mask DLC, right? Mm. So they this could have been, they could have already planned to do the, it this way. And obviously we're thinking it's a reaction to the, the problems they had with the Walking Wake um, update and stuff. They could have the the home could have been coming out, but they still could have been doing these star Pokemon yeah, raids until the DLC come out. DLC. That's a really good point, mate. That is so, actually, yeah, because the DLC, the teal mask, is still because the um, that was the other thing we're going to touch on today was the uh, the fact that we've uh, now got the download cards available in Japan, and we've got this little bit of artwork that's brand new, new to outfits. us of the um, of the gameplay really of locations in each of the DLCs, but the DLC dates on the game on the download cards are still fall and winter. So, um, nothing's changed there, but it'd be interesting to know if we took all of the remaining starters and we kept this kind of cycle of, uh, um, every, every two weeks, we get a new seven star raid. How many have we done? Let's work it out now. How many have we done? Seven or eight? have we done? Let's count. Right, so the first one was Charizard. Charizard. I'll tell you. I'll let, let's get them up. Charizard. See the race? Wait there. I've got them all in chronological order. Let's go back to... Is it four or five? Ah, okay. Here we go. Let me pull it up. Okay. Let's start. Right. We got Charizard. It's number one here. Yeah. Okay. This number uno. Uno. Then we had Cinderace, which is number mm-hmm. two. There's a lot of time between those. Then we had Greninja. Um, Greninja. Then we had the Pikachu. 
That's four. I don't know if we count Pikachu. Do we count Pikachu? Let's leave it for now and see how the numbers work yeah, out. So we got three. Then we had Decidueye, four. four. Then Samurott, five. Then Typhlosion, six. Yeah. Seven. And, and then Inteleon's the seventh. So that leaves 20 stars left. Uh, every two weeks, that's 40 weeks, that's not going to happen. No. No, so that doesn't add up. Unless, no, because you've got to discount Venus or Blastoise aren't in the game data. Okay. So I, I would assume they will be in one of the DLCs. Um, okay, so that brings us down to 18. 18. What, what, so that's what 36 weeks. What have they not done? They haven't like, done... Uh, they haven't two. done Rillaboom. No, as in like three. what... Generation starters have they not done? They've done no Gen 3. No Gen 4. No Gen no 2. No Gen 3. No Gen 4. No, they did Gen 2, didn't they? Gen 5, I don't think they're going to do because Superior isn't in the game data. I don't know if Embor is. And Okay, so we exclude them three. Then what well, does Samurott bring? is. Samurott is, right? So Samurott, okay. so you could potentially have Embor as well. Okay. So you discount one of them. Which is so we're down to superior. seventeen now. And then after that we had um Oh no, we've had we ha- no, we had Oshawa. Yeah, yeah which is Oshawa. That. Yeah, which we just yeah, we just mentioned. We've had no sorry. gen four, no gen three. So then gen we, six would have been Chespin, um the uh, the fox, fox. Del Fox, and what was the the grass one in that? No, that was the chestnut. Chestnut, oh, yeah, Del chestnut. Fox. So what was the water one? I can't remember. Mate. Um, mate, I always do this. I'm, I'm always trying to think of the stars. I'm sitting. I'm like, what is it? What is it? What I'm is it? I'm googling this. Gris Greninja. We had. Of course, we, Greninja. Why we, yeah. Why are we, talk, why are we <laughs> even discussing we this? <laughs> no, so they have had Gen Six. Are they at Gen 7? What the gen so they 7? need to finish Gen 6, all right? So they need to finish Gen 6. So there's no, two more from Gen 6. Well, why, don't, why don't we just cycle through how many Pokemon we have left from the, the generations that we ha- we started, that, okay. that we've had, right? So, so we've had, ignoring Charizard, you don't reckon the other one's in there. So no. Cinderace was the second one. Mm-hmm. So the other two starters would be... Whatever, Inteleon. Inteleon, which we've just had. And so, Rillaboom. So Rillaboom, we're missing. Yeah. Um, uh, what was the one after that? Then we had Greninja. That was Greninja. No, Greninja yeah, was Greninja. after that, right? Yeah, Greninja. So, so then we were missing Chestnut and Delphi. Chestnot. That's four. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Decidueye was after that. So then you have... We've had Cinderace and Decidueye. So what was the other one? What's the water type for Gen uh, That's Gen, Gen, Gen 7, wasn't it? It's Gen 7. So it's yeah. Litten and um, Poipoil. Oh yeah, the seal thing. So that's five. Yeah. Um, and then we just had what was after Samar. We just said so. Superior and Embor. Is yeah, but Superior is not in, so we can't count okay. that. Okay, Embor. so we're up to six. And then we just had Typhlosion, so Meganium and Feraligatr. Yeah, it brings us up to eight. Yeah. That would be 16 weeks. 16 weeks. Which is four months, isn't it? Yeah, which would bring which us would take into us f- fall. Four months, April, May, June, July, August, end of August. May, this could be this could be spot on. Because that if, would take us into fall in September with all of those starters. We will know. I like the next, it, We will know when we get the next seven star terraid if we are correct. Because if it's not from one of the generations we haven't discussed, Gen three or Gen four, then we know that there's a fair chance that we're on onto something. Hey everyone, Scott, out of everyone, who would have thought he's cracked the code for cracked when the, the DLC will drop? Will be the end of August, start of end September. End of August, start of September, baby. Here you go. Heard it here first. I know they've said fall, so I, 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 we're kind of ballparking what they've said anyway. But, I mean, it's a really nice theory that these are the remaining starters that we'll get. And if it plays out like that, mate, props, that's a, that's some... Um, 
Well, some big brain thinking right there. Big, big brain. That's uh, yeah, that's good, mate. Yeah, we'll see in two weeks when we get the announcement of the next next. Yeah, so it has to be from that pool. Has to, if it's it not be, from that pool, I'm gonna be really upset. What should be Emble? He's not even in the game. Yeah. So yeah, here are the download codes that you can buy now in shops in Japan, so you can get the pack of the DLCs. Um, and that came out today. That is kind of something that uh, people are thinking we're going to get some news dropping very soon in regards to this because we've had this dropping today last week we had this little guy announced which is the um let me get this right terapagos i hope i'm pronouncing it right because i was saying it wrong i believe so hopefully you get it right now um it's linked to that somehow we don't know too much about it it was obviously revealed in the anime as well we touched on it um a little before while that gets pulled up on your next yeah. couch segment yeah, and there was this so, really how interesting. How do you pronounce this Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Triple, triple, blah, 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 blah. Uh, nope. triple pass, pass, <laughs> pass. Um, but we did have this tweet as well, Soul Silver Art, which is he's a, um, a really well-renowned um, leak analyst. Does some amazing posts, amazing work. I've covered a lot of his stuff on previous stuff on the channel before, uh, but did put this out, which I thought was very interesting. Uh, Fans, what is going on with some of the official Pokemon Twitter accounts? They're posting tons of turtles. So this is after they reveal this little guy, which hasn't had a name, hasn't had any information about it. Um, turtles, I was so perplexed when I saw them post the Sword and Shield gift first, but now it makes sense. Also, Shuckle is in there. So Shuckle, technically a turtle. But they they posted Pokemon. more turtle stuff after this, which is very kind of towards unless it makes sense like in relation to the dlc specifically because yeah. one of them's water based right as we've discussed like land and water dlc type thing mm. so loads yeah. of water turtle pokemon would make sense mm. but i think like they're just they're either gearing up to drop some news like a short video on the the, the miniature or pre-evolution of tripac <laughs> So Pegos, I'm just gonna say the it's turtle. Come back to you. Yeah, I know it is now. Now I'm thinking that about blue it. Turtle thing. Yeah, the blue turtle thing. But yeah, maybe we get like some news drop now. And with the the back of the download cards being released, you'd think Pokemon probably want to start like, you know, starting the hype up for these DLCs if they are dropping later this year. Um, and if they are coming at the end of August, start of September, they're gonna have to start kind of throwing some advertisement around these um these dlc soon because that's the first on the teal mask right so it's just interesting that it's a turtle pokemon and the the kind of the terpegos is linked to the the um the second dlc not the first one it's kind of interesting so we'll see where it goes unless they're just trying to really just curveball us into thinking something else just turtles or just, just, uh, just mess. the, the someone, theme of some, the month. The social media manager was just like, hmm, let's play with some people. Just, <laughs> I like turtle Pokemon just posting pictures <laughs> of all the turtle Pokemon that exist. They let Steve, <laughs> they let Steve out Pokemon. again. Steve's oh, been at it. <laughs> what have we said? <laughs> I told him, don't let him on the Twitter account. Turtles for days. I don't mind it. No, I was kind of thinking, oh, are we gonna get, are we gonna get Blastoise? Yeah, it's a terror raid event. That's, That's what everyone was saying. Yeah, not happening, not happening. Another news though, the uh, the second global challenge happened uh, over the past weekend. So you can now, if you did take part in it and you complete three battles, either win or lose, you can go into Pokemon Home and get yourself your redeem code for this lovely. They're giving out stylish. Oh, I mystery Red Bull bag. They're giving it out via mystery gift. No, today. Not this. We're giving no. out one of them via mystery Are gift. They? Yeah, let no. me find um, Joe's tweet. Uh, hang on. No, I think they're just giving these out. They're just available through Pokemon Home. You get if you've participated, you get a code in Pokemon Home, and then you can redeem it in your game. It's the only way you can get this apparel in your games. If anyone listening, oh sorry, you're is, right. Yeah, um, a blue and white backpack. It's not aesthetically, I I'm not a massive fan of it, but I mean. It's better than what we've got in the games at the minute. So that is available as well at the moment. Um, 
There is, of course, more mystery gifts running, Scott, at the moment. There is a new one running uh, currently for the TM's, uh, I think it's Baton Pass and Stealth Rock. And um, weird, yeah, you... weird two TM's to drop, kind of. Yeah. I don't know why they just don't drop, like. Oh, what are we whoa, doing? Oh, you got rid of me. Um, really? I don't know why they don't just. Um, why don't they drop good stuff? Like, yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Like, who's going to use the t- like, and it's like two, like the love balls, stuff like the love balls. And I only gave us two, but that's like a good. The love balls a, was really good. That's the a love really balls good mystery. Brilliant. Like, give us yeah, stuff that's hard to get. Yeah. So the code for that is rock and batten, rock and batten, and it runs till the uh, the seventh of May. So there's a little bit of time if you want to get to. <laughs> not particularly special. I mean, if you play singles, right? Stealth Rock's probably good. Bat and Pass is probably used in singles a lot more, but Team, generally, it's Team a pretty Lou running Stealth Rock. Yeah, and, it's, and it's events, pretty so. bad. It's a pretty bad. Um, it's a pretty bad mystery gift, really. Um, other news, we mentioned it briefly. I'm just going to fly through stuff, Scott, if you don't That's mind. Fine. Let's go for it. Get into the juice. Uh, the, we've got the the one point three patch uh, update for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and all the patch notes there. Uh, I did a bit of a breakdown video on the channel, so if you want to check that out in a bit more detail, then that is there for you to watch. Uh, basically, just an overview of it. It does um, fix the problem with the bad egg the players were experiencing when they initially dropped the Walking Wake and Iron Leaves raid, where players weren't updating their game and going in and instead of encountering one of the new Paradox Pokemon, encountered a bad egg, they caught it, and then it limited them. They weren't able to catch these Pokemon after that because the bad egg counted as one of them caught. Does it uh, do so that fix- Yeah, there's some oh, updates, yeah. bug fixes around. Um, there's lots to do in battles, like could you, the ability uh, was was fixed. It will not uh, proc multiple times like it was. So it'll only trigger once uh, the first time, and then that will be it after that. So that's how it's meant to work. Before that, right up to now, it's been not working correctly. So that has been resolved. There's a few issues around Zoroark as well, uh, how it's kind of shown on the battle screen when it terrestrializes or if it copies something that has terrestrialized, etc. So all those little bits have been fixed as well. And then uh, an issue with... Um, moves that are like status moves um, happening twice behind a substitute. It's like a really nice situation, so that has been sorted. But the bigger ones are the uh, the Pokemon Go connectivity, um, the crashes that happened between that and Scarlet and Violet for the Vivillon event, or the Vivian, Vivian event, as Vivian. I learned from our, uh, our casting um, segment. And then things around the Hisuian Zoroark as well when it was uh, when you got it through the mystery gift from pre-ordering the DLCs uh, it was if it wasn't registered in the Pokedex it was registering incorrectly so that's been resolved and then it just finishes with other big bug fixes have been implemented but doesn't really elaborate on those so that was that mate uh, 1.3 patch has been done the walking wake and iron leaves raids will be coming back on the 1st of May uh, in game and they'll be running for two weeks and i don't think they'll be clashing with anything else i think they'll be running alongside whatever other seven star raids uh that they have planned so i don't think it's gonna i initially thought oh we're gonna have two weeks without seven star raids i don't think that'll be the case we I might not right. get like the spotlight terror raid event for those two weeks because this might just take its place but i mean i mean if we got the blissey back again right I don't, we don't want a Blissey again. Like, I don't think they need to drop it again. They should they do the Herba. They need herba. to do the Herba. I don't That's know why the they didn't do the Herba. Do. They could have done yeah, Blissey right. in like a month or something. Such I don't a good know. idea. Such a good idea. So I did have it. this other bit of news as well. Um, we have been following it loosely on the pod. Uh, the, um, the Niantic decision with Pokemon Go recently, the upcry in the community mm-hmm. because of the... Uh, the change to raid passes, but there was this that I saw earlier today that I thought uh, kind of stirs the pot a little bit more and um, didn't, didn't, doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. And you just think that's, that's not a good title, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, come on, Yantic, really. You know, when things aren't that, that great, don't, don't keep doing this stuff. And this is the tweet that they put out. Um, obviously, this is someone 
was able to get it before they took it down because they did take it down. So obviously uh, it wasn't taken well by um, any Pokemon Go players, as you can expect. Like what 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 were they expecting? I think Steve's been let out on the social media desk again over at Niantic. <laughs> he got kicked out of the Pokemon room and straight over to Niantic. With his uh, with his special all access pass, and started tweeting out over here. Wait, wait, wait hang on. So was this a tweet that they did? And then yeah, the antic put out. Yeah, and then they took it down. And they took it down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so they made it. They made. Oh, so they made a joke about. Oh, I see. I thought yeah. someone someone else made a joke, and the antic. No, like, no, 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 no. This well, is that's the antic. Bad. That is yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. So this tweet here is uh, from Rock Paper Slark. Uh, this tweet. At Niantic deleted, FYI. So yeah, this is the tweet that they uh, they deleted. Very, that's quite funny to me. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's brutal. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. But um, so yeah, it doesn't seem like anything. It just to me, mate. It's it's just really distasteful because it just there's obviously a big issue going on with the community and the decisions that Niantic are making, and we've been quite on the we've been we've been taking it a stance from both sides and looking why the decisions were made and then looking from a player base. And I, I, I'm siding with the player base hundred percent, but we have been looking at it from quite a, a kind of like a, an nothing. open-minded side, you know, we look at it both sides of the story here, but that to me is so distasteful. I just think yeah. it's like the employees in the antique are pretty much just like laughing yeah. at the situation and it's just, it's not, not all right. Well, so. I don't get that. Like, cause it's clearly, peed people off like it's hurting their brand at the moment it's not like pokemon like you know people still buying like the pokemon games you know but, but this is like clearly this is stopping people from playing the game yeah like they could lose a lot of players if they just keep this up i think they will as well and they'll continue to but, um, probably have lost it, lost yeah. already, so I'll, uh, I'll not dwell on it too much. There was some announcements, some lighter notes for Pokemon Go this week. Obviously, the Rising Heroes um, ha- event is starting in May, so you're going to get Genesect. Uh, will be available in five. Uh, is it five? It's not Star Raids, isn't it? It will be in Raids uh, from the, the 2nd till the 9th of March, um, and there'll be other Pokemon following it throughout March for the Rising Heroes event that'll be happening in Pokemon Go. So that's pretty exciting, mate. That's pretty exciting news for Pokemon Go players. They can get out and play, of course. Um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully stuff gets resolved. You know, Niantic, I feel like they need to come out and make a big, a big apology kind of about it but whether Again, happen, lack of transparency not, we'll you know just burying their head in the sand but like yeah it's fine we just they just won't talk about it it's, stupid. it's fine it didn't happen yeah well stupid bruv yeah this was interesting we were talking before we came on the pod as well um i found this earlier as well pokemon company sells out of pokemon tcg products in japan <gasps> have you so Okay, I've got something else to say after this. Go and read something. Yeah, this is this is a good segment really nicely into what you want to talk about. This is something else though, as well. Oh, nice. So this is off the back of the recent releases with the, the Clear Burst and the Snow Hazard sets, which have just been released. Um, mm-hmm. Not just released, but, you know, they were released around um, early part of April 14th. And, uh, yeah, just they've come out, Pokemon have made a statement about it saying that, you know, they're going to, they are aware of the situation and they're going to, start trying to print more products to meet the demand which is crazy you know you think tcg it, it had its moment it seems like it's kind of getting a nice stable place but obviously not over in japan where it's just gone crazy set still but i think off the back of it when you look have you seen the artwork from these sets mate and you will once you see the artwork from these sets you will understand why they're selling out like look at these full art is this a new set yeah right there Look at that, man! They have been smashing out of the park. I must that say, is, that they is know insane. they know how to they know how to bleed your wallet dry. <laughs> Insanely nice. Like, what is and that one? The ice, the ice the one underneath here. the ice cube one. Ice like, cube. It's the um, yeah, the uh, Bass Caliber one. The whole all of those three really sick. Cool one. Yeah. Back, the back. yeah, look how sick the that is. Caliber man, That's wild man. Cathedra. Oh, it's so annoying. I was like, what's this one? And they're like, all right, it's, it's, there's a pseudo widow there. <laughs> it's random. So cool. It's pretty nice. These are all like bangers, aren't they, mate? We could D, 
Dun Dun Spars. Spars. Ooh, Hu no Shen. Like Shen. Go oh, on. mate, I need this card. No, have card. you seen all art forms of Jin these Tao. in this set? Yeah. Mm. Oh, they are naughty. Look at that, man. Yeah. Go to these ones. Oh, mate, these are so cool. Shen Pao there. The Chi Yu one is really cool. The Shen Pao and the Chi Yu one, I think, is really sick. That's really I mean, they're cool. all really cool. I yeah. like that a lot. These are very nice, very nice. And then you've got the gold cards here as well. Heracross. Colors. I just like the bright colors. I'm a sucker for bright Look at colors. Look that Raichu, man. But this is why the set's gone nuts, I think, as well. But it's had this knock-on effect. Look at that like, e on, man. So everyone's so like just bought all the rest of the product that's available. I need this. This is the one. This is the one. I'll get it for you. Is that a promise? Yeah. This is a pretty nice card. I love the colors yeah, in it. Colors, yeah, yeah. People, send uh, well. people are going to lose their mind for this card, mate. Mousehold. I hate the Pokemon so much. Really? You're like yeah. the only person that doesn't like it. For a only for VGC. It's just annoying. I love that card, actually. It's quite nice. That Damn, that's kind of dope. I'm not the dressers in the head. Not much a fan of like these full arts, but I like all the old art mm. cards. Are really sick. Yeah, yeah they look at that. That's so nice. That, that GU cool. man. Man, could go for that. I don't know one. Oh. Yeah, we need to get set. I'd <laughs> love to. There is none left, though, mate. There is none left. I would be through all these as well. So yeah. So yeah. Crazy, but that was the other thing, and I think that's. Uh, Pretty much just a recap of everything that I wanted to discuss here. Obviously, I lead into your stuff, and we've got plenty of time to go through everything else as well, mate. Right, so I've just sent you on the TCG trail. Have okay. you seen this um, special set that is being released in Japan? I really want it, but it will sell out instantly, I'm guessing. Oh, this is like, uh, I have seen it. Yes, this is, I have seen oh, it. Is really cool. I have seen it. Yes, I have. And I've tried not to look at it because I'm like, mm, chances of me getting it are very, very slim. But um, yeah, it's 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 super nice. Is it like one of the original illustrators or something? Um, isn't it like a? Um, didn't they do one recently with like Pikachu? It's a brand, I think, doing like yeah, yeah, yeah. So you collab, are. isn't it? I think. Um, Either way, it's really it's a really cool set. Yeah. It's really nice, and the, the the whole product looks looks super nice as well. That's it there with everything. So you get like a little frame yeah. in it as yeah. well. Let's get your cards well. in, and then the box there, which is just such a nice display piece, just like by itself, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Then yeah, frame the cards get hold of. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. very very nice, very nice, very now, nice. Now on to the mega spice. Okay. Yeah. Now Pokemon definitely definitely know how to uh, just print oh. money, don't they? Yes, and so we saw a post last week. I saw it. Didn't really think much of it, to be honest, of this alleged... Someone had allegedly... Basically, it was a table full of rainbow rares and secret rares that had been allegedly stolen by a factory worker and were being yes. sold. You've and got links got, for this got, so yeah, you can have visuals. Of, right, so this is the original post, and I showed it to Lee, and we were like, they're definitely fake. However... There have been some follow-up posts. Have you sent me it? Pokemon, so I've just sent it on Twitter. Oh, yeah, there the it is. One. Yes, yes. There have been some follow-up posts um, basically confirming that these are indeed real. And um, there's also a statement from Pokemon about it. But look at all these cards, baby. I mean, so apparently they are real based on... Um, and someone was... I was reading the comments and basically someone was saying like, they could have made so much money if they just slowly, steadily sold these. Look right. at the Gengar VMAXs, mate. At the back, the old art. Jeez. Yep. I mean, when I first showed this to you, you thought it was fake, right? Yeah, I thought it was. But then you can, like, you take a bit of a closer look and you can see, like, the textures well, then, in the cards. Well, then and this they're post, definitely not fakes. This post yes, also sh showed up on Twitter, on Facebook, sorry. I just sent it to you. This one is wild again. I think how rare the, rare the Umbra and VMAX card is. This is this is not cool. This is legit not cool. And what's that like? 
take hundreds 50, of them. 50 of those there yeah must be 50. it looks like there's more of the rayquaza ones yeah easily yeah and they're like and what's that up in the corner up there a stack of rayquaza v max as well <laughs> rainbows just actually, casually insane like casually. i don't know how 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 are they getting them how are people getting these cards? well factory workers they're stolen them from the print line basically this is what this is the theory that, that the comments supposedly like these have been stolen direct from the print factories yeah people that work in them i was speaking to gabby at the because because this this is after you showed me this right and then i had to go and cast for euic and i was sitting yeah, yeah, backstage yeah. and i was talking to gabby about this she was like can you believe this and i was like this is like this is nuts like you know like if you're working in the factory like stealing the cards is like literally the dumbest thing you can do because you are going to be prime suspect number one they are going to first off look for people that are stealing the cards as the people that have access to the cards well yeah do you well, know what i mean it's like, amount of people, you're right? not you're not going to get away with it you are not you could maybe get away with one or two but like well, when you, you get, get greedy with, like this i reckon you could steal some well, and then had um, special delivery made, charges. Just not, just not yeah. this many. They've clearly got greedy and was just like, <laughs> I would take everything with me. Yeah. It's Ooh. just, they just, yeah. they got, they, they saw the pretty cards and was like, damn, I got to have them all. Could they could have taken like <clears throat> 10 of the Umbrian cards. Probably, they, they probably would have noticed something, but not, they've clearly taken thousands of, hundreds if not thousands of cards. Yeah judging by the stats we just saw you know and they're gonna get caught because they've they've been called out basically i've just sent you pokemon have actually made a statement about this yeah um i did see but, it i think yeah yeah it's just wild absolutely wild i mean it's the first time i've ever seen an example of this happening before so we take the protection of our ip and associated products very seriously do you like that voice? Is that good? The deep voice? Yeah. Serious, serious voice. Carry I like on. This yeah. is for anyone that is listening. The statement from it Pokemon. So this is my Mr. Pokemon voice. This matter remains under investigation and we cannot comment on details at this time. <laughs> I don't know how well it's longer. I'll keep this up. Sorry. I'm spoiling it for everyone. That's like, just get to the point. Just get to the point. <laughs> However, we can confirm that Sword and Shield booster packs and products were shipped to retail as intended and we have no indication that the in, integrity of our products were impacted by any confirmed or unconfirmed theft. Furthermore, we can continue uh, we continue to significantly investigate in both the production and security of our TCG business. We value the faith of our fans put in us and our products and these invest uh, and these investments are intended to help us continue to maintain their trust. So that's pretty much the the be all and all. I mean, they had to come out and say they had to come out and say that the products weren't be, affected must, by this. They must be fuming. Oh, like you know, you know the Poland company. Like even just they are they they must be seething when they saw this. We're like, especially the fact that it's got free money. Yeah, especially the fact that it's got out that someone's posted that. You know. Yeah, I think like. It could have happened in the past, but it was all just, hush, you hush. know, yeah, taken care of. Yeah, Jimmy's been back at the factory again. <laughs> he's been, he's been on the take. <laughs> he's been on. He's been stealing more stuff again. <laughs> Leaving with bin bags full of full of cards. Come on, lads, really? Oh, no, I really? missed one more. I missed one more. I've got to say you. <laughs> I can't believe it though, mate. Really like it. Look at this one. Look, this is a video. Okay, right there. I'll uh, I'll open you up. Right. It's not stopping anytime soon. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> They're all muse. Oh my god. Oh, these these people are literally stupid right nowadays, right? They they they'd commit a crime and we're like, I'm gonna post this on TikTok. <laughs> it's literally like all these people, right? You know, this, this is a really I know it'll make me go viral. <laughs> this is this is a weird tangent, right? But during like dr the beginning of the year and towards the end of last year, loads of tech companies were doing layoffs, right? Because they hired loads of people during COVID and all that. But mm. before that happened, there was this trend on TikTok of basically all these people that were working on 
in high high like large tech firms basically talking about how their job basically involves doing nothing all day and like there were loads of these videos of people just been like i just go make myself a smoothie sit down answer some emails literally like legs up on the desk right and then loads of people were laid off and it's just like you literally <laughs> of course not, they were you just told on yourself like how are you people this stupid man <laughs> You're going to commit a crime. You don't document it at the same time. You literally have the best thing going. You you literally are doing nothing. Away. Away. You're going undetected and getting paid for doing nothing except going and buying smoothies. And then you post it online. They wanted the free clout. The clout. But obviously not the job. They wanted it more no. than the job. So. Man. But yeah, it is wild. I don't, I don't get these idiots, but... <laughs> you know, thankfully it hasn't affected, um, you know, supply. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was super interesting. No. A bit yeah. of drama there. Oh, also one more thing. Crazy though, really. Crazy. You know how we talk about, I don't know if you don't go on Reddit a lot, but the Pokemon, I'm always really interested because people always post about, but these are the cards that I've bought and I'm going to open them. Mm. And y- yeah. you see people save up, they'll the buy products and wait for ages and then buy them. And I'm always interested. Some people will spend shit tons of money, right, on loads of product, and you'll see the stack, and you'll be like, "How have you afforded? How can you afford this, right?" And so this guy, um, again, one more link that I've sent you on Reddit, has bought, has basically bought up, saved up, and bought every single Scarlet and Violet booster box. No, and has just what? opened them. It's like time to open. I mean, them. no, this is this is Jordan Shield, Shield. Sorry, Jordan Shield, 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 sorry. Shield. My bad. Whoosh. I was like, yeah, time to open these them all. Yeah. What, just in all one go? You didn't buy these over, like, as they released over time? I don't know. They might have released, they might have bought them all and then decided that when they when they end, they just can yeah. open them all. Wow. But I just don't get these people that just buy or wait. Like, I, to be, I, I get the, them waiting, but then to just open so much product in one go, because these people will... They'll spend like obviously thousands, some of the posts I've seen in here on like sealed stuff. And they'll be like, oh, I'm going to open it all for my birthday. And you'll be like, how can you do that? Like, at least spread it out. You spent so much money. Yeah. <laughs> Show me the disappointment. I love that. Yeah. The first <laughs> reply. <laughs> I was okay. literally thinking that. I'm like, just keep them sealed. Like now, just keep them sealed. Well, some of them sets, right, are going to be worth a lot of money, right? The Evolving Skies, the pull rates in it are terrible so you're better off keeping you're better off keeping all of these sealed to be honest and just picking up the singles that you want from the sets i mean i'm not anyone you know he's probably bought these i don't know and no, just not, wants not, the I'm enjoyment not, I just i'm not i love really opening packs but oh, when you've got the set there and you're like packs. you've got that full set you think that's kind of nice just let's keep that as a just sit on it because mm-hmm. you could sell it as a set right yeah you could yeah I want yeah, to no. see if there's a follow-up with any of the posts. Did he not they, post what you... He has not. Um, oh. s- mm. Sometimes they, they normally do do a post, but I haven't seen it bit, yet. So. A bit of an um, anti-climax, that, mate. Well, if, if, you if kind it of comes up, build this if up. It, if he posts this it point. online, I'll, <laughs> I'll share it. I'll, I'll, we, can, we can look at his polls on the next week's episode. Choco Donuts. Yeah. That's, his, uh, that's his handle, so keep an eye out for Choco Donuts and opening... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve booster boxes. That's a lot. That's a lot of booster that's a boxes. L- that's a lot of that's a lot of rubbish, mate. That is a lot of packaging that you're gonna have to get rid of. And oh well, yeah. A ton yeah. of bulk. Yeah. And uh, about twelve rare cards at best. No. When you boil cool. it down like that, you know. I've got one more thing we can just yeah. show. Okay. The 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 grading service in Japan. This is the, it's my favorite part. Of the yeah, show. Just, yeah, you just show me random stuff. stuff. No, it's good. <laughs> I, like I, it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I've just sent you another something else. Okay, on Twitter. that's fine. Then. Um, what's, Japan's what's grading the, service just looks way better than name this. Scott's Scott's goodie bag. Scott's goodie bag. Hour. This is a section coined it right. Scott's but what's in Scott's goodie bag this week? Japan's grading service has a beautiful slab design. I think that's this looks really sick. I don't know if I like it at the bottom. If you like and it. And I don't know if that's like, just because I'm not used to it, that at the bottom, it feels like it should be at the top. But I You're guess right. it makes I more sense. 
yeah. makes more sense because the card's the centerpiece. So that should be the thing at the top, right? I think it's just different, right? You know, all of the sl- most slab designs are they're all at the top, right? So it's something different. I like the like. label though, it looks nice. That's what I'm it? saying. It looks, it yeah. looks cool. Sick. Different Ooh. design. Something different. Very nice. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, no, that's pretty much. Oh, it's in a sleeve. Is that in a sleeve or is that just in the, I don't know, on the grid, on the back of the card? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. The QR code. That's very cool. I like that. It's nice. It's a nice display piece, though. That's what I mean. That's what I quite liked it. But that guy that's got that stack of them wants to get those sent off that we looked at before. <laughs> it's like someone's PSI is like, why has someone got like a hundred VMAX Umbrians? They've just sent them to us. They just don't. They just don't clock it. It's like, yeah. Well, I'm so confused. <sighs> I wonder if that's had any effect on like devaluing those cards significantly in the market i don't really keep Brutal. enough of an eye on the market to know for those cards to say like you know yeah no i mean that that was pretty much it yeah. like you said we both weird. i don't own any of those like i don't own the, the requaza i really want it don't have it i don't have the umbrian i had a chance to get it when it first dropped and now it's just way out of my price point um the gengar as well another one Oh, I feel bad for the people that have those or spent loads of money on them. And then there's just people like that, just like rocking around with like wards, a ward of requisas, alt arts, just like. Right, when they go into a shop, right? They say, they just start paying with poor regards for the actual money. <laughs> but trust me, this is worth a lot of money. <laughs> Can I have a Tesla, please? Uh, yeah, that'll be, yeah, um, be 45,000 pounds. Uh, well, I've got this stack of requires at alt arts. Is that all right? Yeah, that's good. That's that good. good? Just, 20 of those? Yeah, it'd be fine. <laughs> this is oh, money. my so money, funny. baby. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there's much else to talk about. Obviously, this this we've um we've kind of went over most things, mate, this week. We've got the Intellion it. raid kicking off later this week, so that'll be a bit of fun. We started the show off with that. Um and you came up with the epic theory about um, what to okay. expect from the remaining I hope, I hope seven star really raids. I really do. I think you could be onto something here, mate. If the next one is, I'm making a video, a big video about this. You should do it, actually. That would be yeah. a really good video. Yeah. I think it would be a cool video, yeah. If the next one, and we have to wait, I think, for the next one. And then yeah, we no, like, well, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. we got it. We nailed it down. Um, other things that are happening. I don't think there's much going on. And competitive this weekend. Oh, is the Global Challenge 3 this weekend, or is that the weekend after? Global Challenge 3. Yeah. There is another Global Challenge. Yes. Next week. It's not this week, is it? No. No, register now for the Global Challenge 3. Oh, Registration God, has absolutely opened. blazing through these. I did I did see something about it. I didn't have too much time. Let's have a look live and uh inform ourselves as well as our audience so register now for the 2023 global challenge online tournament what do you uh, get? click on the pokemon so it will be it. running from uh yeah from thursday the the, the fourth so uh, no, that's next week. week that's not this week yeah right. not this weekend next weekend yeah. yeah and you will get yourself i think it will be the ultra bag that you will Ooh. get doesn't does it say does it say Unless um, I haven't announced what oh excuse me. Unless they haven't announced what the gift will be yet. Big yawns, mate. Big yawns for gym today. Been to the gym. Yeah, absolutely yeeted nice. me earlier. I'm so tired. Nice. No, there doesn't seem to be anything, but you can imagine it's gonna be the ultra bag, right? We got the Pokeball bag for the first one. The Great Ball. And then that'll be the Master Ball bag for the last one, I reckon. Yeah. That'd yeah. be cool. And then that'll, that'll probably be, be the best it. one. Before we get and hopefully between Oh, you've got to hope that at the start of May we get some DLC news as well. That's what I'm really hoping for. Some big fat trailer. Like just like just five minutes of like gameplay or something. Just give us a sneak, a sneak peek. At it. Give the people what they want. But I need to uh I need to actually put some time into Scarlet and Violet this week. I need to get some money and I need to get some ability patches and I need to get just general level up candies. I am so rinsed after doing the video today for the best build for Inteleon. I am depleted, mate. I've got depleted. nothing in my game. Yeah, so. Do it. I maxed out my level up candies. 
God. I had to sell some of mine today just to get some money for some oh. vitamins or vitamins. Vitamins. It was painful, mate. Yeah. Fair enough. Right, let's right. put it there. Let's not ramble on too long. No, let's do it. Thank you so much to everyone for tuning in to this week's episode. We'd love feedback. Of course, if you are listening on Spotify, Spotify. please leave us a review. It really does help the podcast grow. It helps us be more discoverable and things like that. And it would mean the world to both me and Scott. If you could just take a couple of minutes just to go and do that for us, it would be amazing. Also, if you're on iTunes, do leave us a review on there. And then if you're on YouTube, let us know down in the comment section what your favorite thing from today's episode has been. Or if there's any things that you want us to cover on next week's episode because we do check the comments quite regularly and we appreciate each and every one of you of course if you are on youtube drop a like and do subscribe as well to stay up to date with when the next pod comes out they drop every wednesday at 1 p.m that's our schedule so we'll be back next wednesday but this has been episode five and it's still going strong still enjoying it a big thank you to you as well mate scott and talk to you thank you too. <laughs> always time flies by when we do this it's great it does yeah been a lot of fun so, until next time yep there'll be lots of stuff going on between now and next week and plenty for us to cover so thank you for tuning in friends take care of yourselves and we will see you all on the next pod next week bye everybody just do your thing wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be